What's going on guys? It's Jay here. Um Hey everybody, I'm here doing another little review. You guys remember the little Star Wars review that I Star Wars review that I did on the lightsaber. I actually got a new thing today. I, I got the Death Star Trooper from the Star Wars Black series and it actually looks pretty cool. It's basically the Empire version of the um Bravo Trooper. So I actually gotta go get a knife, but I'm dragging that. <laughs> All right, got a knife. So, with that being said, let's begin. By the way, if you guys did not notice, I am on vacation. I'm not in North Carolina right now. I'm currently in South Carolina. Oh, it's already open. All right, so there we have it open. Open this bad boy up. This is the Death Star Trooper. There's nothing really looking the box. I don't know if you guys But, you know, he looks pretty nice. Now, let's actually take him out of the packaging. Ow. Oh, you, you can actually, oh, you can take his helmet off. That is so cool. So apparently you can take his helmet off, and that's what it looks like without it. And for his blaster pistol, it's a DH-17 blaster pistol. Um, possibly one of my favorite pistols. And of course, it can go into his pistol holder, which is also very cool. Okay, is that the first? Okay, so apparently, so in the movies, his holster was on his left side, and yeah, that's what his pistol looks like in his holster, or his pistol holder, and this is what it looks like in his hand. Uh, there we go. I got it in his hand. That's what the D817 pistol. Apparently, that's what the the Def Star Troopers are carrying, because apparently they were originally carrying E-11, so I don't understand why they didn't, including E-11 pistol. Actually, I didn't got something else. I got this, and this thing's not really such a good thing. I paid $3 for this thing, and I tried, I really thought it was going to be an extra belt type thing, and I have to put the thing in my pants, which is not bad, but I'm going to find a way to do this. So yeah, of course the D8 seven. This thing looks really good. Cool. Um, you can actually pull them in a couple ways. Of course, you can turn it And of course, you can take the helmet off. So I guess he can be. What? I don't know what. Oh crap! Come back here, helmet. So apparently, you can actually. I actually always thought that these helmets would resemble Darth Vader's helmet because the way they look like on the back. Apparently, these things are very slippery. That's also one thing that, that you should take note of. Um, the thing is so freaking cool. Uh, of course, you can hold all like other pistols as well. So, if you wanted to hold Thrawn's RK3 pistol, he could. If you wanted to hold an E11, he could. If you wanted, if you wanted to hold a uh, DL44, he could. You know, if you can hold any blaster that is like a pistol, is it like a rifle? I don't know, or like a sniper rifle? I don't know if it really would be. Um. So yeah, that's very, very cool. Yeah, um, hold up. Actually, hold up a second. Take this out, and oh, there really isn't no piece for him. Now, you can actually make him like one of the little things, like one of the little officers that's inside of the thing. Hey, this dude actually looks pretty well done without the helmet. I also forgot to show the Imperial logo on the side. Um, this is very cool. I got this at the local Walmart. I found, I found him there. I, was, I found Han Solo, Lon Longo. Lando Calrissian with that was from Solo, a Star Wars story with his SE 14R, like in Chromium, which was freaking awesome. I think it was so cool. So, yeah, for his helmet, not really that much of a design, but I could add some Bella on there, maybe. You know. So, yeah, that's basically the Death Star Trooper or Death Star Imperial Off. That's what it looks like. It's funny how he has his finger right there where his pistol is. Um, but, um, this is very cool. Um, and of course, D817 is, of course, uh, figure scale. You know, it's the same scale as the character or the figure itself. This thing is actually pretty hard. So, can you hold, can you hold a pistol in his left hand? Yes, he can. He can hold it in his left hand, but 
And of course, his finger's not through the trigger, but or not through the trigger guard, but that still looks cool, right? So, but originally the holsters were on like his left side on their left side, but then when they pulled them, they pulled them like that, you know. So that's very weird. And of course, a little bit of consistency consistency issue is that the Death Star Troopers were seen carrying these pistols, but when they start firing, they turn to E11, which is kind of weird. Um, but of course, Sean Childson, which is the guy like the Imperial Transport Tech dude, he had a D817 he pulled from the thing. So yeah, that's very cool. And of course, as I said, the pistol holder is also very good as well. I think it's supposed to have like a ranking insignia on him. I gotta go back and look at the Death Star pictures. And the Lego Star Wars Complete Saga video game or an entire series, he's actually gray, so that's actually different. Um... And of course, you know, his helmet, well, you can remove his helmet on the actual but we'll just have a bald head on him. <laughs> there we go. I wanted to straighten the speed up because his feet look jagged. And by the way, if you guys really want to know what he looks like with everything on him, uh, not really all that. Okay, there it is. It was his helmet, too. This one is like. That's what it looks like with, you know, everything on him. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with his pistol. The D817. Oh crap, it sounds like more. That's what it looks like with his pistol. So, very great addition. Although, this light one didn't my first Star Wars, the Black Series figure. I might make a stop motion again. Not really good. Um... I kind of see why they would have these pistols, because they have a stun setting, so they can capture your target alive, which is my favorite. So it's definitely my favorite setting of a, uh, you know, of a blaster if it's stun setting. It doesn't have a stun setting, I don't really care for it. But of course, you can also be disarmed by either being force pulled, or being, you know, just get the blaster punch out of the pan, which is very easy to do. Especially if you have the fire. And stuff. Yeah, that's basically the Death Star Trooper from, uh... Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, all the way up to Episode 6. So, yeah, that's him with his helmet on, and, uh, yeah. That's oh, fine. Nope. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.